Welcome to my channel. We're going to do a sponsored video today on Awaken Life Sciences. They trade in Canada under the NEO Stock Exchange, ticker AWKN, on the OTC in the US, ticker AWKNF, and on the Frankfurt Stock Exchange in Germany, ticker 954. They're a biotechnology company that develops therapeutics to cure addiction. Addiction affects everybody, whether personally or through a friend or family member. It seems like the medical community is constantly failing at curing addiction. This company is looking to help a lot of people, and of course they need to generate a profit in order to do that. The global addiction rehab and recovery industry is valued at $140 billion, so it's a really big market. Tobacco affects the most people, $1.3 billion. Alcohol is $390 million. Opioid use is $39 million. Then you have gambling, sexual addiction, internet gaming, binge eating, etc. Their business model is to research and develop world-leading therapeutics to cure addiction. They also have three operating clinics, and these clinics will provide the evidence if their process works. They're also generating revenue in the clinics. Once they prove the concept, then they're going to deliver the therapeutics at scale. They're going to offer their products to third-party addiction treatment centers all over the world. Let's go through the different products in their pipeline. They have a ketamine and MDMA assisted therapy. For alcohol use, they're in phase 2B of the ketamine therapy and phase 2A of the MDMA therapy. In the clinical development phase, they're working on a ketamine assisted therapy for gambling, binge eating, compulsive sexual behavior, and internet gaming. In preclinical development, they're working on new chemical therapy for substance addictions and behavior addictions. Their management team has a ton of experience. Their co-founders are Anthony Tennyson and Jonathan Held. You can also see they have four doctors on staff. We'll talk more about them later. Here's a list of their corporate board and they have five key scientific advisors. What this company does different is they target brain circuits that drive addiction through multiple receptors rather than a single receptor. By focusing on multiple receptors rather than one, Awaken has the potential to be more effective in treatment for both substance and behavioral addictions. They also combine medication with therapy. There are many people who do not give in to addiction. The reward and pleasure of addiction isn't great enough to take over your life. I'm not talking about having a few cigarettes here or there or drinking with your friends. I'm talking about people who drink where it affects their life, affects their job, affects their marriage, etc. And some people are more predisposed to addiction. It might be from their brain makeup or it might be from their environment. This company's drugs are supposed to block addiction at every avenue. And the therapy is supposed to help you not go back to the addiction. Of course, these charts are a really simplified way to think about it. It's much more complex when you dig down a lot deeper. The ketamine-assisted therapy for alcohol use disorder is expected to launch partnerships in Q3 of this year. The R&D is being completed this year, and they're currently treating patients in their three clinics. For the ketamine-assisted therapy for behavior addictions, Clinical treatment should be in the third quarter of this year. They're currently in the R&D stage for MDMA assisted therapy for AUD. Same thing for the new chemical entities for substance and behavior addictions. They're in the R&D stage. They acquired the assets for the ketamine research program. This is the only phase two clinical trial for ketamine assisted therapy to treat alcohol use disorder. And the person working on this was Professor Celia Morgan. And she's now the head of this company's ketamine assisted therapy division. And the results from the phase 2B trial were published in January 22 in the American Journal of Psychiatry. They signed a memorandum of understanding with the National Health Service in the UK. That's a really big relationship to have. That's UK's publicly funded healthcare system. You can see how much more effective their care program was than the placebo or an alcohol management trial. CARE stands for Ketamine for Reduction Alcohol Relapse. Three months after treatment, 91% of patients avoided alcohol. And six months after treatment, 86%. The placebo was 70% and the alcohol management was 38%. They also acquired the assets for the world's only phase two clinical trial for MDMA assisted therapy to treat AUD. And that's led by Professor David Nutt, Dr. Ben Sesser, and Dr. Lori Higbed. All three of these people now work for Waken. They signed an MOU with MAPS. 
MAPS is the Multidisciplinary Association for Psychedelic Studies. They're a nonprofit founded in 1986. This will help them get approval for commercialization of their product in Europe. And you can see Awaken's results are so much better than BEMA. BEMA stands for Bristol Imperial MDMA in Alcoholism Study. After nine months, 75% of patients saw improvement with only 21% from BEMA. And you could see after six months, BEMA had 36%, so lots of people relapsed. Awaken's results are flat from six months to nine months. For the new chemical program, they acquired six years of data from Professor David Nutt. He's now the company's chief research officer. You can see developing a drug is a long and expensive process. Completion should be by 2029, so it's gonna be a few years for this one. It's good to see they file patents. It lessens the risk of someone copying them. In 2021, they opened a clinic in Oslo, Norway and Bristol, London. In 2022, they opened their third clinic in London and it looks like they're planning to open one in the Nordic region. In 2023 and beyond, they plan to open up three in the Nordic region, two in Ireland, five in the UK, and six in Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. So the target is 15 to 20 clinics by the end of 2024 with an average of six rooms per clinic. And the treatment programs aren't cheap. It's between 6,000 and 7,500 pounds, which is 7,400 to 9,200 US dollars. Each program consists of three to four ketamine sessions and eight therapy and integration sessions. And they're able to do six patient treatment programs per treatment room per month. This would give them annual revenue of 3 million pounds or 3.7 million US dollars. Let's look at their capital structure. They have 27 million common shares, 2.8 million warrants, 2 million stock options, and 35,000 deferred stock units. Fully diluted at 31.8 million shares. They have no debt. 31% of their shares are held by management. 60% are held in escrow. When you see escrow shares, these are shares held by early investors or management. And they're usually not allowed to sell the shares within a year or two. Here's a list of eight of their competitors. Compass is the biggest at 734 million market cap. They have one product in phase 2B like Awaken. They also have one product in phase 2A like Awaken. But Awaken has a bunch in preclinical trials. MindMend is the second biggest at 568 million. Awaken is the third smallest at 46 million. The nice thing about this company is they have two revenue streams, one from the clinics, and the big revenue stream should be when they commercialize their therapeutics. And their process seems more effective because they're targeting brain circuits rather than individual receptors. And combining drugs and therapy has much better results than just doing one of those. They have an amazing staff. Some of these people have been in this space for a really long time. They have five patent families filed and two more to come. They're working on stuff in phase two, which means they are really close to commercialization. Here's an analyst write-up by Stifle. Their price target is $8. As of today, the stock is trading at 88 cents in Canada. So it's trading at a huge discount. They're projecting their revenue to be 6.8 million next year and 22 million in 2024. Here's a breakdown of the insider ownership. Dr. Ben Sessa owns 8.3% of the company. Orbamed Capital owns 9%. The CEO, Anthony Tennyson, 5.8%. The chairman of the company owns 4.2%. The other co-founder and CFO owns 2.2%. So the insider ownership is 31%. 64% of the shares are locked up, which is 17.2 million shares. By the end of 2023, none of these shares will be locked up. That means that people can sell them if they wanted to. I'm really excited to see how this company progresses in the next few quarters. Let me know what you think. Give this video a like, subscribe, or comment below. Also, if you'd like to get a custom valuation or just support the channel, you can become a member by clicking on the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.